Temple's Seven Seas Aquarium took to Facebook today addressing customer concerns after days of questions from Six News reporter Andrew Moore, but no clear answers from the business's curator. Yeah, we want some answers. In the statement, Seven Seas say they have no opening date, but claims they have hired a construction expediter and will be showing their progress on social media. Andrew Moore joins us now in studio. Andrew, I got to ask you, what's going on here? Guys, 17's Facebook statement today had a lot of people talking, so we wanted to find out what's really happening next with this project. The city of Temple says they received a call today from the business's attorney. They plan to meet with the company on Monday, but still, you deserve to know the facts before you spend your money. I have an eight-year-old, and he definitely loves the aquarium in Austin, and this is closer to home. People were extremely excited to hear about a public aquarium coming to Temple. In the statement today, the business assured customers that sea creatures were still on the way. But do their claims stack up with the facts? Well, let's see. They said the delay in opening we are experiencing is a matter of construction hiccups and nothing more. But the city of Temple told us there has been no construction at all. The company said, we at Seven Seas are experienced in bringing amazing aquarium experiences to fans across the globe. But what is owner Fidel Junko's track record on aquariums? Well, he presented this reference letter from Jeff Foster to the city of Temple, and we tracked Foster down. Foster first told us the letter was forged. I did not write the letter, and I wasn't aware that he used my signature on that letter either. But Foster knew Junko and said he may have had one aquarium outside the U.S. at Isla Mujeres. We had a, an aquarium down in, uh, in, in I, I believe it was Isla Mujeres. Six News also found articles about an unsuccessful project in the U.S. tied to Hammond Aqualife and to Junko, according to a letter he sent to the city. But back to the response. Seven Seas said, Your local officials are working hard to apply international plumbing code to a unique project. But as of today, the city has no permit application and no plans from the company to apply the codes to. They are waiting on Junko. The city did tell us today Seven Seas claims to have engaged a local engineering firm to help them with the permitting process. And again, they are supposed to meet on Monday. So we'll see what happens. Guys? Yeah, waiting to see. Thank you. Andrew Moore live in studio.